one of our favorite places to spend a day in Central Florida is the always charming town of Mount Dora. Just over a half hour drive from downtown Orlando, this little slice of New England is a worthwhile destination that has been featured on this channel many times before. Not to be missed is the small but mighty impressive Modernism Museum, open Friday through Sunday. The current exhibition focuses on the vibrant Memphis movement that started in the 1980s. Amazing works from the personal collection of rock icon David Bowie are on display. Lots of great restaurants in town, but if you're looking for a quick bite, stop by the Salted Fry. This alleyway eatery specializes in Belgian-style fries that are gluten-free. A huge reason a lot of people come to Mount Dora is for the shopping, especially antiques and vintage. Outside historic downtown, spread across nearly 120 rolling acres, is Renninger's Florida Twin Markets. This is the place you have to visit if you're a treasure hunter looking for the best finds in the state. There's a large flea and farmer's market area where you can find good bargains on just about everything, and a 40,000 square foot climate controlled building known as the Antique Center. This is where you'll find dozens of separate booths filled with antiques of all types. When we're looking to fill an empty corner of a room or in search of a good conversation piece, the Antique Center is where we always turn and it never disappoints. One of the coolest sections of the sprawling complex is the Street of Shops. Permanent vendors are able to create their own little world inside quaint handmade cottages. We were blown away by the Rose and Grace Market, which had the vibe of a Pinterest board come to life. We have a mixture of old and new home decor gift items. Um, we travel all over the place to find our stuff, so we're bringing one of a kind pieces home to sell. Some of my favorite pieces are actually newer items. They're handmade by local artists. Um, we have a local artist that lives right up the street um, that does her warm up paintings in the morning. She sells them here. They're beautiful little square six by six paintings. Some of the furniture, uh, seeing the patina and the, the wear and the tear that was put on it over the years. I kind of um, buy what I like and then I'm thankful when other people like it too. So there's a good um, mix in there of, um, we've got some mid-century pieces, some primitive pieces, um, some more Victorian pieces, um, modern. So it all kind of blends somehow, but I'm glad it does. Growing up, I thought I'd actually be more um, on the apparel side of things, clothing, fashion industry, um, but I've always just loved beautiful things, beautiful spaces. I kind of always had a passion for old, so when I graduated from college and I wasn't finding the perfect job in fashion, I kind of segued into this, um, and I love it. I'm glad that it's worked out this way. I think it was more meant to be, so. And how long have you been here? Uh, so we opened our location uh, in April, of last year, um, but we've been working um, a little under five years now, doing uh, local pop-up shows, things like that. We've been in the market here 25 years. This, well, this location, a little over 10 years. This room is actually, this is all reclaimed lumber. We built this a few years ago, tore the old building down and put this up. The oldest piece is probably that desk over there in the corner. This is, this is just the way I found it. Beautiful. It is. It's a really nice shape. And tell me about this table. This is sassafras wood. This came out of Pennsylvania. The wood came out of Pennsylvania. Um, this is a six footer. I've got a five footer in the other building with a silverware drawer in it. What I'm doing now, I'm buying old, just old tables and re rehabbing them, re re doing them over. Nineteen thirties. This is Ohio art. Uh, it's in reasonably good shape for its age, but it's uh, like a lot of these. A lot of these countries are, are gone. Uh, Indochina, which is it's Vietnam. But yeah, this the graphics on this thing are really nice. So this was the intercom of an old hotel. Hmm. So that's why there's no dial tone on it. You just pick it up and call down to the desk.
Preningers is known for its variety of special events held throughout the year. Three times annually, more than 800 vendors descend on Mount Dora for the Antiques Extravaganza. They come from all over just to be here. Henry's nostalgia makes the drive from Deerfield Beach in South Florida. Yeah, over here we have uh, some antique animation clocks. They're almost impossible to find even at uh, clock shows. Mm -hmm. uh, and they have a variety of different ones. Some of these clocks are 140 years old from the 1880s that, that work like a charm where you buy a clock these days and in five years you're throwing it away. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the other things that are real big now are the uh, coin art machines, the old gumball machines. This one happens to be from the 1930s. Uh, they're quite collectible, as well as chewing gum displays. Um, I have a variety of those. Uh, the other big thing these days is uh, malted milk dispensers, all the different companies that had them, Carnation, Borden's, uh, uh, soda fountain uh, dispensers. Syrup dispensers. As a matter of fact, this is a rare one. Most people never knew that Anheuser Busch, who makes Budweiser, actually came out with a grape drink called Grape Bouquet during Prohibition. Mm -hmm. uh, a few companies did that, but back in the turn of the century, grape juice was very popular because it was known as a healthy drink. So people would go into a soda fountain and order grape juice, and that's why Budweiser came out with it. Um, Here's a machine from the 1950s that for a penny, not only did you get a piece of gum, but you got a baseball card. Hmm. And if you were fortunate to get this Mickey Mantle card, that card in great condition right now is worth about $5,000. Wow. So you really would have made out great. Uh, again, trade stimulators, this would have been something that uh, even though it looks like a miniature slot machine, uh, it would be in a store and you put a penny in and if you wound up having the three different packs of cigarettes the same in a row, you got a free pack of cigarettes, but you also got a piece of ball gum. Hmm. Uh, Pulver was a big company. They made a variety of uh, chewing gum machines. That's uh, in beautiful condition. That were, yeah, that's all original, never touched, inside or out. Uh, and it has uh, uh, animation, so when you put the penny in, it actually moves around. The kids really like that. Um, here's a great 1920s postage stamp machine. This has been restored, but it's been restored to exactly what it was originally and because it was restored with an automotive paint base coat clear coat it's nicer than the original one was this is the spoon here that the clerk would use it actually says chiclets right on there and it was sold by the ounce and this is the bag that the clerk would fill to give you if you wanted a couple ounces mm -hmm. of chiclets and it was sold by the ounce five cents an ounce so how many years have you been collecting i've been doing this for 40 years wow yeah yeah before you started in Massachusetts and we're now down in South Florida. The Antiques Extravaganza runs for three days, Friday through Sunday, 8 to 5. A three-day pass can be purchased for $15. Admission on Friday is $10 when you can scoop up the best items. The price drops to $6 on Saturday and $4 on Sunday. Parking is free. Other special events include a military collector show and our personal favorite, the Steampunk Show. On the screen now, you'll find the address and regular hours for Renninger's Mount Dora. Hope you enjoyed this quick look around Renninger's Florida Twin Markets in Mount Dora. What is your favorite shop at this vintage haven? Let us know in the comments. We always love hearing from you. A complete guide to everything mentioned in this video can be found at our website. We have a link in the description. Stay updated with our latest content by subscribing to the channel. It's free and activate the notification bell so you know when new tips and guides are released. As always, thank you for watching from Mount Dora, Florida. See you next time.